obviously we uh, we don't know what's going on with, with Jared, but it, if it does end up being something long term, how, how prepared do you feel to, to step in and play a bigger role with this team right now? I mean, regardless, we have to. It's it's all about competition. You. Monday, nothing's nothing secure. No position secure. You know, you gotta you gotta prove to each uh, each guy on the field that you're gonna you're gonna be able to be trusted. You know, um, you know, injuries happen. Uh, you know, but um, you just gotta have that next man mentality and uh, make sure that the whole defense is just stays whole no matter what. Johnny, as you as you studied the playbook, how how much trust do you feel like your teammates have in you at this game? I mean, every every play I have to uh, earn their trust. You know, every play. Um, it's not it's not given, you know, um, but luckily I have great vets uh, that are in front of me telling me what I got to do or just key things that I got to fix up. So um, it, it, it all comes down to their guys, really, like the other 10 guys that are on the field. Uh, they make my they make anybody's job do uh, any job uh, easier, I guess. But um, yeah, it, it, all credit goes to the other 10 guys. Can you speak to what Jared's meant to you and just your development, your growth? And Jared's a great. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys know him personally, but he's just a, he's a great teammate just in general. Uh, but he's a hell of a player. Uh, he's somebody that I, I try and strive to become, and, and you know, just things that I can pick up on. He he really helps me out. So, um, I mean, everybody in the LB room is like that. So, I'm just grateful for uh, having this opportunity to play alongside them. Given what he players. means to this team, both on and off the field and in the room, how much of a loss or blow would it be for him to be out for any matter of time? I mean, he's a great he's a great player, uh, great teammate. Uh, but like I said, injuries happen. Uh, you can't predict anything, and um, it's on the it's on the rest of us to make sure that we just we we, we don't take that step back. We just keep striving to to be a, a perfect unit. Can Can you explain maybe for fans out there who don't understand like everything that's on a middle linebacker's plate, you know, calling the plays or making the adjustments? What What do you have to do like on a given play? How How, how, how much is on the play? I mean, it's, it, I don't know, it's football, you know. Um, it, it's not really just based off one guy. Everybody on the field is uh, communicating. Uh, you know, you got to give the strain call. You got to make sure the, the front's, uh, front's good. And then you just got to hear what the safeties are given. But like I said, it's, it's a team, it's a team uh, defense. So you just got to listen to the commu uh, communication and just echo it uh, so everybody can be on the same page. And as a rookie, are you up to that task? If that I mean, you, <laughs> you're always going to be up to any challenge, you know. And, uh, and I'm going to make sure that that we just stay as a unit and just uh, stay calm and collective so we could just play play ball. Speaking of that calm and collective, how tough is it to keep your mind right when you do see a teammate go down? I know there's the human element of it, and you, you care what's happening. Just how, how tough is it to stay focused on the game in those moments? I mean, you know, it's it's one of those, like, in-the-moment kind of situations. You, you I don't know how to explain that feeling, but um, I hate seeing any of my brothers uh, really go down like that. So, um you know, just I don't know how to explain that situation. It's just it's tough seeing anybody that you care for on the field, any any guy that you're playing alongside just go down. So, it, like I said, um, it's a it's a next man up mentality, and uh, we just got to make sure that we just stay on that pace and don't take that step back.